Oh, mate, sorry about that. Well played, Luke. Thank you. You, you started off slow, but you certainly picked up speed uh, over the course of the games. Thanks for joining us. But like someone smacking the asphalt, it's time for you to hit the road. Douse the light. Go into darkness. <laughs> Congratulations to Gavin, though. What a champion. Time for Question Impossible. Whoa. At the start, did you think you'd be standing up here? Uh, no, not really. I thought the other two were really good. Yeah, yeah. Just went right down to the final question in those uh, just before the elimination round, so anything could have happened. Anyone could have been here. OK. Uh, the next question, though, is the toughest question of the entire show. It's the question that none of our think tankers answered correctly. It's the sausage roll of the think tank tuck shop. The delicious question impossible. Are you ready to bite into its pastry of knowledge? It's beautiful. Gavin, if you can get this right, you will succeed even where our think tank could not. Answer this correctly, you'll become a think tank champion and you'll be taken home this lovely trophy. Fabulous. Ah, <laughs> it sings. <laughs> Very good. Eh, it wasn't one of our best. <laughs> OK. OK. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. Throw it at me. Question impossible. What playing card shares its name with the title of Bryce Courtney's final novel. OK. What playing card shares its name with the title of Bryce Courtney's final novel? Tough one. Tough one? Tough one. OK, let's have a look at what the think tank answered. Okay. Don't forget, all their answers are, are in wrong. Correct, yeah. Yeah? yeah? OK. Activate the eight. Ace of hearts, ace of hearts, ace of spades, ace of spades, queen of hearts. Ace of Hearts, Queen of Hearts, Black Jack. Uh, okay. okay. Um, yeah, it's... Cut a few out of the deck, though. Yeah, it's taken a few out. Ace of Spades and Ace of Hearts are sort of obvious sort of names. Look, I don't know. Um, Joker hasn't been mentioned. Um, I mean, that could possibly be, I guess. Um, I think it's probably going to be a, a royal card. Yeah, yeah, that limits you, know, you again. Of, That's good. Yeah. yeah, you're honing in. Jack of... Diamonds. What playing card shares its name with the title of Bryce Courtney's final novel? You said? Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds. If you're right, you'll have bitten into the quest impossible. The hot sausage roll of the think tank tuck shop. <laughs> but have you bitten off more than you can chew? Let's see if you've got the correct answer. You said? Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds it is. Oh! <laughs> it's a guess. Lucky <laughs> guess. Oh, well done, Lucky mate. Guess. Oh, we love that. Thank you. Boom, Thank boom, you. Boom. Thank oh, you. the whole place has gone on. Oh, works oh, oh, I love the faces on the think tankers. <laughs> They're having a good time. Purely guesswork. No, I thought, heard. well, what would be a title? And um, that's not already been used. Yeah, no, great. Well, well, deser well deserved. Thank you. There. Uh, they knocked out a couple for you, which was great. But exactly. Limited the field. You're right, going for a royal, and yeah. you picked. You picked well at the end the there. Right so one. well done. Yeah, done thank it. You. Actually done it. Thank you. Gone off. Thank you guys. Who would have thought, mate? Congratulations. Awesome. Now we're going to have to rename Question Impossible and call it Question Quite Difficult. <laughs> Congratulations to you and all your descendants, for this day will surely be celebrated in your family for <laughs> generations to come. For sure. Uh, and well done to all our think tankers as well over the course of the night. Great, great play. And for those of you playing along at home, the answer to Graham's super secret question is no, it didn't. How did you score? Good night, everyone. Congratulations.